a 20-year grassroots campaign to end the cultural practice of rural ritual infanticide among indigenous communities around the Nigerian capital of Abuja is yielding success. Now, the Basakomo people have a historic practice of killing babies that are perceived to be evil, including twins and albinos. But efforts by a local missionary and the government have helped to reduce the number of killings. Chika Odua reports. These babies were almost killed. They were all branded as evil by their communities. Twins, like Henrik and Henrika, are believed to be bad spirits. Multiple births are not acceptable to them. And when they deliver such children, they, they are poisoned with their local herbs. The child is abandoned in the room, not to be touched by anybody. He's already tagged an evil child. Nobody wants to nurse that baby, no food, no water. And they believe that leaving a child who lost his mother, that is going to spread the evil that they are used to kill the mother among the villagers, so they don't want them to leave. Stephen Ajayi runs this rescue center in the outskirts of Abuja. It's part of his work as a Christian missionary. This place has become a shelter for so-called evil children. Albinos, twins, triplets, and even babies whose upper teeth appeared before the lower set of teeth are all at risk. Ajayi opened the Vine Heritage Home in 2004 and has been taking care of the children, all 119 of them. He makes sure the older ones get to school every morning. For generations, ethnic communities indigenous to the Nigerian capital territory have practiced ritual infanticide. Twins were born in this compound many years ago. The twin babies were killed and afterwards the family set up this altar. The family believes that the spirits of the twin babies live here. Twice a year, the family offers sacrifices of chickens and goats to the spirits. They believe that this will prevent the spirits of the twin babies from coming back to haunt the community. Alkali Magaji is the spiritual leader of this village called Kaida. Our children believe that these children come from the evil one and no one wants it. We have a god we call Atachi and we offer the children to that god. We suspect those children to be witches or wizards. That's why we eliminate them. The government began investigating infanticide in 2013 and kicked off a campaign to eradicate the practice. Dr. Matthew Ashikeni said the investigation revealed that babies born with abnormalities were also at risk. If a kid is born with a cleft lip or cleft palate, which had, had you know, defects in the, you know, the lips, all right, or the palate, all right, or those kids that come with the malformation that will lead to the head being so big, all right, we call it hydrocephalus medically. But he says the campaign is having an effect. Infanticide is on the decline. Aisha Ayuba gave birth to twins this year. She decided to give them away to the rescue center where they could have a chance at life. Ajayi works with local chiefs to enlighten communities. This chief says they are working towards doing away with the harmful traditions of their forefathers. We are happy seeing twins here alive, and there is no trouble. Kutara village is one of the first communities that agreed to stop practicing infanticide. But in other communities, the practice has gone further underground. Twin babies born in this village just a few months ago have disappeared, according to local residents. Communities use various methods to kill babies that are branded evil. They could be suffocated, smashed to pieces, or even left to die. Or they could be given a poisonous mixture which contains plants and herbs, like tobacco leaves, which are grown all along this riverbank. Back at the rescue center, the children go on with their lives. If they are not here, I don't think any of them will be alive. These children don't know if they will ever see their parents again or even visit their native communities. But they do know that they are alive. 
Chika Odua for VOA News in the Nigerian Capital Territory.